Hi, this is Ross with DIY on the house. I've been a plumber for over 27 years and people ask, what filters should I use for my whole house water system? In today's video, I'll give you tips on how to select one. So stay tuned and watch. Hi everyone, this is Ross with DIY on the house and this is the Simpure 1045 PGC filter. Now Simpure sent us the uh, 1045 filter housing to install, but they also sent us this PGC filter as well. Now this is a great all-around filter. Uh, it catches rust, silt, sand, uh, it uh, traps chlorine, and it traps taste, uh, any bad taste, and any odors in it. That is due to the fact that it's a granule uh, active carbon, and it will go ahead and trap all that stuff within the carbon. Uh, that's the nice thing about carbon, it absorbs everything, and uh, to a point, obviously, you'll get so much uh, use out of it. And then at that point, it's just basically just switch out the filter and you start brand new again. Now the melt blown cartridge is very effective at catching very, very small particles. Now everything that is used in here is food grade. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this out, show you how simple it is, and uh, we'll go move over to the housing. All right, so this is the SimPure 1045 water filter housing. This is a four inch housing. This is the 10 inch model. It also comes in a 20 inch model as well that's available. Um, this is just a great quality system that they put out. It has brass inserts on the input and output. So when you're uh, assembling it, you don't have to worry about threading into plastic pieces and everything is nice and solid. Uh, the housing itself is also food grade, so no worries there. Uh, don't, uh, you don't have to worry about anything leaching out of the system. It's all good to go. As far as changing the filter out, very simple. Turn off the incoming water, and uh, if you do not have an outgoing valve like we do here, uh, you can just simply turn on a tap, let the water pressure go down to zero, and then you can go ahead and proceed. On, if you have an incoming outgoing valve, just shut off the outgoing valve once you've done the input. And there's a red button, a purge button at the top, and you're gonna to need to do this even if you don't have that outgoing valve. Push that button and relieve any pressure that's in the sump itself. And then once that's gone, we can go ahead and remove it. So we'll take our wrench and insert that onto the sump and just break that loose. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and just unscrew that. Okay, once that's done, you have the old filter inside. We're going to go ahead and just discard that. Now you will want to make sure that you clean out the sump, make sure if there's any silt, any debris left in the bottom from uh, the previous filter or what it caught and settled to the bottom. You want to make sure that's gone. Just start off with a nice, fresh, clean system. You will pop off the cellophane and just remove all that. Now on the filters, there's no up and down, so don't worry about it. Uh, if you get it mixed up or you go, oh no, uh, it's, it's not a big deal. It, uh, it's just totally, you can put it 180. We're gonna take our sump and we're gonna drop that in. And there's a peg in the bottom of the sump. You wanna make sure that's inserts into that and that the, uh, the filter itself is just below the top of the, the sump itself. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna kind of balance that and screw that on. Once we get to a certain point where it's hand tight, we'll take our wrench and we'll just bring that the rest of the way. You don't want to crank these on, you just want to make sure that you're seating those O-rings against the housing itself and that will ensure that you have a good seal. If you, if you over tighten it, it's going to be a real bear to take it off next time. And plus you're also compressing those O-rings down and making them flatter uh, so you won't get as much life out of them as you would uh, if you, you know, just take it easy on the system. Okay, so that, once that's done, we're going to ease on our incoming water and you always want to do that. You always want to just kind of ease that on, bring that up to a full, and then we're going to push the red button and uh, relieve any air that's in the system. Once you get a little squirt of water, just release the button. We're going to go ahead and turn our outgoing valve on, and we slowly do that, and now the system's back into use. If you, like I said, if you don't have that outgoing valve, um, just slowly creep everything on. Don't you know, hit it real hard with a big rush of water, you may damage something inside the house. Okay, so there you have it. That's the installation of the filter. And we just appreciate SimPure for giving us the uh, 1045 housing and also the filter to go with it. And we just uh, thank you for uh, watching the video and for the collaboration with SimPure.